sheet music booklet cover from Italy showing Sani, 1950s. Amru Sani was a singer and actress who experienced short-lived fame in the United States during the 1950s and 1960s. A tall, exotic creature with a powerful, bluesy voice, she identified herself during her American heyday as hailing from India, but earlier newspaper references identified her as Jamaican. A 1954 edition of the Kingston, Jamaica, the Gleaner called her a Jamaican enchantress of song. Sani once claimed to have been born in Panama, to have grown up in India, to have been educated in Europe, and to have served as an airplane mechanic in England during World War II because she was too young to become a female pilot. Whether some of this information is merely show business hype is unknown. However, the Kingston Gleaner did note in 1943 that Sonny, who was already known in Jamaica as a singer, was going to England shortly to join the WAAFS. This article also listed her as the only daughter of Mr. and Mrs. M. P. Sonny of 10. Lunford Road, St. Andrew, Jamaica, Sonny once named Dinah Shore as a major influence, citing in particular as a favorite tune Shore's mad about him, sad about him. How can I be glad without him blues? She sang in four languages, English, French, Italian, and Spanish. In 1942 she appeared with the highly popular Milton McPherson Dance Band of Jamaica at the Carib Theatre in Crossroads, Street, Andrew. In 1947 she appeared at the Morgan's Cove nightclub in Kingston, Jamaica, where she starred in a show called Romantic Midnight Mood. Around 1950 she appeared at the Sherry Netherland Hotel in New York City, and shortly thereafter went to Rome, where she appeared in a French musical review. That French musical review may have been Plain Fou, in which she co-starred with Maurice Chevalier. Between 1956 and 1958 she made several appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show, including the episode on which Elvis Presley made his first Sullivan appearance. Backed by Enoch Light and his orchestra, she recorded a 45 RPM single in 1956 for the Grand Award record label, containing the tracks I'm in the Mood for Love. And Tabasco, the latter of which was used by McElhenney Company to promote its Tabasco brand pepper sauce. Time magazine reviewed the former track in July 1956, observing, Sonny begins this oldie with a series of racking, echoing groans, but then picks up a twinkle. Of humor that makes everything all right. She also recorded Once Upon a Winter Time for Parlophone Records, and Souvenir d'Italia for a European label. Between June and December 1956 she appeared in the Broadway musical review New Faces of 1956. The Broadway producer of New Faces, Leonard Silman, claimed to have discovered Sonny in a restaurant. She was so chic looking and beautiful, Silman recalled, I called the restaurant owner over and told him, if she sings, I'll sign her for a show. One of Sonny's performances from this Broadway show appears on the LP New Faces of 1956, which was issued by RCA Records that same year. RCA also released a single of Sonny's Hurry from the New Faces performances. As an actress, Sonny appeared in the early spaghetti western Maricatumba, Ma Non E Una Rumba, The Naked Maja, and John Huston's The Bible, in the beginning. Thanks for watching.